Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I thought I would also do a reading for um, <clears throat> the 1221 portal, which keeps coming up in my readings. Because admittedly, other than being the winter solstice and being a full moon, I don't really know anything about it. So this is going to be interesting. I'll only be speaking from the perspective of my um, channeled guidance or my... Um, clairvoyance or clairaudience so depending on how it comes out sometimes a lot of the time they tell me and then I tell you and sometimes they just funnel the words through and I barely hear them as they're coming through so we'll see which way it wants to come through um, but basically I have no other real knowledge of what that should be about so um, I'm just interested to see what they tell us um, my question is I wrote down my question beforehand because otherwise I forget my question is, what is the significance of the 1221 portal, um, which is the winter solstice this year, um, for those of us <clears throat> in this collective going through this ascension process at this time? So let's get some cards for that, um, because that's how I like to start my reading. Sometimes it will sort of evolve into just channeling, but I typically, unless I'm by myself, like, if I'm on video, I sort of need something to get me started right now. Um, I'm not confident enough to just go. But if I'm by myself, I can usually just go um, and do an automatic writing or something like that. <clears throat> or sometimes it just channels through. Um, and I can record it that way. But we will see what comes out today. And as I do this more and more, I'm sure I will gain some more exciting skills for you guys. <laughs> Okay. Also, as I mentioned in my last video, pretty much everything I do is from the healing perspective because that is my um, biggest gift. So um, we'll be talking, it, it will probably end up coming through from the perspective of what we need to heal within ourselves or um, what has changed or how we need to um, focus our attention in order to give our lives room to grow. Okay. So just to repeat my question again, what is the significance of the 1221 portal or the winter solstice for those of us who are um, in the collective on the ascension path? I think I'm going to go with, well, let's see if, oh, well. I don't know if that was my sloppiness. No, I think this is real. <laughs> Let's get some more cards. Okay. I apologize for the dogs. All right, so we're starting out with the Sun and the Three of Wands. The Sun and the Three of Wands, and, and this is the Illuminati Tarot. Somebody was asking yesterday. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, I had to deal with that little issue. <laughs> So we've, we're starting with the sun and the three of wands. And I feel like this is a really highly, I mean, you can see these ships coming in. This is a highly anticipated um, gateway. You can see the, the wands forming a gateway here of all kinds of manifestations that are going to come in. Um, this guy is literally standing here waiting for them, and he knows exactly what he's going to get. So I like that part of it. Is like this is sort of the culmination of the work that we've put in. It's the it's the um, the path that we chose with the two of wands, the whatever conscious and really profound choice we made um, at the at the two of wands is sort of is coming in now, bringing in all your cargo or passengers or whatever. So um, <clears throat> the sun 
is obviously an extremely positive card and that also tells me that this is highly anticipated extremely joyful time of a breakthrough that's what i'm hearing is a breakthrough um and uh, i'm just sort of looking at this as like baby new year it's almost like this the brand new start of a very large cycle so it's um it's, it's the start of a new year, a new cycle, and it's not a little cycle like, like the other cycles we've been talking about. This is a really big one. It's like a huge shift. All of this stuff is coming in. There are literally five ships here. Um, and to me, that's significant because five is the number of change. And so it's going to be a huge change, a huge paradigm shift for everyone. Um, The child in this picture is pointing up at the sun and there's a face there in the sun and I feel like this is a divinely guided time. This is a time when um, what we've been following our guidance all this time, whether we knew it or not. I keep saying these same things and it's just sort of like um, the same information keeps coming out that we're being guided toward this and this is like for our own personal growth, for our spiritual growth, um, for our, and even for the growth of our um, life on this planet, a life in the physical, because we are experiencing our spiritual life through our physical bodies. And there is, um, this is going to be evidence of that somehow. So whether this is a time when we start to see I mean, it is definitely a time where we're going to start to see a lot of the things that we have energetically been working on starting to affect our physical lives and sort of show proof in the physical life. Um, and um, this, is, this is to an extent that we have not yet seen. Um, and this is, again, guided by the higher power, the higher self, the angelic realm, um, the realm of the higher light beings, um, the star beings, however you feel comfortable talking about it. And the third card that came out here was the Ace of Wands. So for me, this is clearly a very new beginning, one that was highly anticipated, has a lot of energy behind it. It's extremely um, passionate. So whether it is a romantic beginning for you, but it, actually what I'm feeling is it might come out in the physical world like that, but the reality is this is a passionate new beginning on the spiritual, on a spiritual level. Um, and so the way it trickles down into the physical plane is going to be in many, many different ways, including um, on the, um, in, in relationships, okay? So I'm feeling like you are pulling in all of these people and things that you've been manifesting you didn't even know you were manifesting necessarily but you are working from this higher power and this higher energy which is all positivity it's 100 percent unadulterated high vibrational golden white light that um came in on a white horse and um is going to start showing up in your life so in the meantime it might show itself as uncomfortable situations. I'm just, it's not showing in the card here, but I'm just hearing that, you know, the towers have to come down before you can build up a new one. But I feel that much of that has passed. Much of that is already in motion. And so what this portal significance is that it's the, it's the portal through the port into which literally these ships are coming, okay? Um, so that is the beginning part of that. It doesn't mean everything is perfect and set in stone, excuse me, at that time. But I feel like the doorway is there. And these things are rushing in on a wave like you're not going to stop it, whatever it is. And it is all coming from the higher power. It is all about our manifestations. It is all about a passionate new beginning. Um, for us in our spiritual life and our spiritual growth, which is going to involve higher vibrational relationships, higher vibrational groups of people, higher vibrational mission in our lives, combining our 
Um, it's combining our physical lives with our spiritual lives in a way that supports us in every single way. So it's emotionally supportive. It is physically supportive, i.e. resources are coming in through it. It is spiritually supportive. Um, so this is a really important time. And I think it is one of those, you know, you are barely getting these little carrots of proof that any of the work that you're doing is actually taking place. And I feel like this is a big one. This is by no means the end of the journey. Okay. This is a lifelong and probably and possibly multiple lifelong journey. I mean, we probably started this many lifetimes ago and I'm seeing, yes, we started this many lifetimes ago. Um, we chose to incarnate at this time because of the incredible energies which are available to us at this time on this planet, which is why everything seems to be happening now. Um, and the hope is that, you know, one can ascend to a place to not have to continue doing this. It's like, um, it's the idea of stepping out of the cycle of reincarnation or whatever, but that's getting a little too, um, dogmatic for me. This for me really is about leveling up in a way that we have not yet before. And we're going to start seeing these things in the physical world because our actual earth is changing and accepting these kind of new energies, new vibrations. Um, and that will be on a new level at the time of the winter solstice is a new doorway. Okay. Let's get some more cards for this. about what can we expect at this time more specifically what can we expect through this doorway we have the empress Uh, we have the Princess of Swords. And one more card, please. And what can we expect? Come on, one more card, please. What can we expect through this doorway? Is it gonna give me one? There we go, okay. <clears throat> and this last card that came out was the star. I love this card. So the Empress, this is literally like a birth. This is a brand new birth. This is like um, having worked hard on gestating something, right? So this is like the, the pregnancy and the birth. This is the manifestation and the gestation of um, a new world, a new life for yourself, a new um, way of seeing the, entire, the entirety of your existence and the way that we interact with our physical world and the way that we interact with our spiritual world. Um, They're showing me something about singing. I have no idea what this is, but I feel like I feel it in my mouth, which is super weird. Um, I, I guess it's almost like, and it's weird that the Empress came out because they're telling me about singing over the bones, which to me sounds like a, a death and rebirth issue, uh, not issue, but ritual. So um, yeah, they like the word ritual. So it's almost like it could be that they're going to um, ask you to or suggest that you perform some kind of ritual to help usher in the um, the manifestations at this time um, and it's it's like laying to rest that which is no longer serving us 
Um, this to me, when it came out, I heard that this is what is no longer serving us. Um, this is um, this is cutting away that undeveloped type energy, that kind of, I want to say immature, um, but it's not really immaturity. It is that which is not going to grow. So it's like pruning back the bush. And this is the bush. This is the growth of... Um, this is like the, the fertile and lush growth. This is what we're pruning away. All the things that did not take off, all the shoots that didn't root. Um, any, of the, um, any of the dead branches basically is what we're taking off at this point. So, so while we've been going through so much healing, healing with the star here, um, <clears throat> this is going to continue during this time up to the portal and let's not let's be honest with ourselves it's going to continue after the portal because we never stop evolving we never stop healing um, or becoming you know more and more of who we really are um, <clears throat> it's like when we're born in these physical bodies we have a certain kind of amnesia and we begin to wake up from the amnesia over our lifetimes so and of course Certainly, as soon as the Kundalini energy starts to rise in us, whenever that may be, this to me is also Kundalini energy um, or sacral chakra energy, which is also related to Kundalini. And, um, and so that energy is rising through us most of our lifetimes, and um, uh, we experience different awakenings at different points, and this is another major point in our awakening process. Everyone is different, but everyone should experience as a collective some kind of um, <clears throat> awakening checkpoint, awakening checkpoint, um, and that this is a new growth, a new birth, and it is a place where we leave our shoes at the door. <laughs> I don't know. I love when they say weird shit like that. We leave our shoes at the door. We leave the parts that are no longer necessary, um, <clears throat> that do not serve us anymore because where we're going, you don't need shoes. I, I don't know. Um, and I feel that like the... It's... Um, they really want to go with the shoe and foot and walking barefoot analogy and now they've run ahead of me and I don't know what they're saying anymore um, it's as if um, we're stripping off another layer of the artificial of the um, the amnesia um, so maybe that's why the shoe metaphor is like leaving your shoes at the door to walk barefoot in your natural state into through the new portal into your um, into your new life where you've manifested all of this stuff so <clears throat> and may, that might be the same idea behind this naked baby the baby new year idea where you're just walking through in a brand new way through that portal or coming out of the portal in a brand new way more likely um, I see if there's anything else from this princess of swords I'm drawn to the seagulls and I just really feel like as soon as you drop this um, this energy of that which does not serve you you begin to soar in a greater way um, so all of the stuff that has been holding I'm hearing Scorpio season right now all the stuff that was so very heavy through October November um, through Scorpio season is what was being brought to the surface so that we can just take them take it off like shoes that is that easy we don't long, we don't need to go digging for it it's right here easy to take off divest cut away prune off all of those things so think about that um, we can expect a great amount of healing and the appearance of the star here reminds me of um, the star families and the involvement of the star families in this ascension process whether you really believe that or not um, I have to be honest with you I'm, I'm I've always been a little bit on the fence about all that until I started channeling that stuff through so um, I'm aware now that I have a huge huge group of um, 
high light beings and various um, beings in uh, um, in other dimensions that I am able to channel and have been working with me through my entire lifetime. Um, and, and they are those which are with us all the time and they are the ones who are guiding us. Um, some of them are even mistaken for angels or um, I'm hearing um, the Blessed Mother. <sighs> I don't know what that's about, but so I'm going to upset somebody there. <laughs> I'm just going to stop. Don't give me that info yet. We'll talk about that in private. How about that? <clears throat> um, that's weird. Um, it's not weird, actually. Somebody's going to get mad at me, though. So in any case, we're receiving these massive downloads of this like galactic information. And this is just another gateway, another portal where we're stepping closer to, um, to who we really are, is what I keep hearing, who we really are. Because she's here in her complete nudity, like she is here in the water um, it, and she is who she is. She is exactly who she is out in nature under the stars. Um, I'm getting the feeling of just a destination that has been so long sought after, yearned for, longed for, um, worked for. And here we are at the gateway, at the doorway of it, um, cleaning our, cleansing ourselves of the last bit of, of us, which is, um, <clears throat> The le it's not really the last bit of us, but it's the last bit of baggage, which is um, unworthy of who we really are, right? So we carry so much of this old energy, and that's all being shed, all being cleared in the light of the star, um, in the light of this, like, supernova. Um, I'm hearing about the the story of the nativity birth that like there was this star at that time and here we are talking about the December 21st and and thereabouts right so even though you know historically probably that person who became known as Jesus of Nazareth probably wasn't born on December 25th but anyway I'm gonna piss somebody off again here I go spouting facts um, but the story is there the the archetype is there and that's you know what we're talking about it's a star it's a new a new dawn a new paradigm and that was what the birth of christ represents um in the esoteric realms so sorry <laughs> this is my frida mug i love frida she's the best um back is killing me I feel like that's what we can expect we can expect a divesting of all the things that are no longer serving us so this may be those you know I feel like there's a fine line between what I'm talking about and having a tower moment the tower moments though just feel so terrible and I almost feel like while it's going to have the same effect that these are going to feel more, this is going to feel liberating. Liberation is the word that I'm hearing. Liberation. Um, I don't want to make this too long because I feel like you guys do better with bite-sized pieces. I'm having a hard time seeing what the, um, maybe if I put my arm up. Oh, oh gosh, I've been talking 20 minutes. Okay, so let me wrap this up so that it doesn't go on too long. The last question I want to ask, oh, I want to ask, what are we not seeing about this right now? Um, let's go ahead and use that same deck. What are we not seeing about this right now? The two cards that came out after just talking about the tower 
are the Five of Pentacles and the Tower. And I'm trying to consider this in terms of what are we not seeing right now. And I feel like, I feel like this is really talking about how we may not, depending on our situation, we might not really be seeing how it's actually going to benefit us for this tower, first of all, for this tower to come down, okay? for this lightning bolt to come in and have knocked down this tower. Now, I feel like this is already happening or has already happening uh, or has already been happening. So I don't feel like this is new, but we may not be seeing how this is so beneficial to us. Um, the energies I'm getting for the actual portal are more like the star, which is the healing that comes literally actually 16, yeah. So these come actually in order in the tarot. This is the destruction and this is the healing afterwards, right? So I feel like right now this is where we are and we may not be seeing how this is such, um, how this is so beneficial to our lives, how this has come in and saved us from ourselves. I just heard that because I literally said those words this weekend. <laughs> how, never mind, you won't get it. <laughs> how someone saved me from myself so that I didn't jump in and never mind. Um, <clears throat> and the other, the other card that came out is the five of pentacles. And this is how we may be feeling very poor right now. We might be feeling very locked out. Um, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we feel left out, like we feel alienated. Um, like we feel like we don't belong in some way. Um, it's the feeling of moving on or moving through this with utter exhaustion and poverty is where I'm, where I'm feeling it in my, um, in my, uh, intuitive senses. And we're not really seeing how this is actually a gift. This is actually um, the best thing that could have happened to us, that it's the gateway, right? It's the, here's the doorway to all that we could have wanted is being locked out of, pushed out of, um, leaving or otherwise feeling not accepted into what we once thought we wanted so badly. So, Let's say that you like wanted this job as you wanted to be a partner in your law firm is coming up for me right now. So not me personally, but this, this was coming up in my head. You wanted so badly to be a partner in a firm. And um, it's just you've <clears throat> the people just aren't a right fit. It just there's like something going on there and like you never quite feel accepted. Um, Maybe you didn't even want to be a partner. Maybe you just wanted to be accepted by the people there. And um, it just never came about. Like it was just never the right match. Somebody is just always um, rubbing you the wrong way or maybe you rub them the wrong way. But there's always this underlying conflict which is just stifling your, your career and stifling your creativity and stifling your ability to truly feel settled and accepted in this place. And then um, maybe you find out there's something going on at this law firm, or maybe you get a better offer, which is something that you always wanted. And thank goodness, you know, you were not so entrenched in this job that you couldn't step into this new, absolutely perfect and amazing situation. So that's what I'm talking about is these tower moments and this feeling locked out or left in the cold or forgotten or blocked in some way is such a gift. It is the doorway straight into this healing and this, um, this divinely orchestrated and divinely guided perfect new beginning and happiness. Um, and that is what we're, what we're walking through. Now, I don't want anybody to get disappointed if, you know, 1221 rolls around and you're like, my life's not perfect today. Like, that's not how this works. I don't think I need to tell you that, but somebody would say that. I'd get a little thumbs down because somebody would be like, you were wrong. 
but um, it's the the beginning of that again with this 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 energy it's the beginning of that um, this is like this whole fall season has been this and we have to um, allow ourselves to divest ourselves of all of this energy that we've been forced to and were decided to shed um, it's all the same whether we chose to or not because we are being prepared for this huge huge initiation into our true identity and our true gifts and our true purpose okay that's what's coming for us um, at the winter solstice so let me let me get just a couple oracle cards because I can't help myself. I'm just going to mix these up a little. What do I want here? I want these groups. All right. So give us a little more information um, about what is coming for us. Some advice, please. Let's get some higher dimensional advice for, <clears throat> for what um, we will be going through um, at the winter solstice, winter stol solstice, December 21st portal. Okay. However many cards want to come up. There's one. There's two. Let's get one more. Number one, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. This is what we were just talking about. What are the things we need to divest ourselves of? And here he is with his sword, um, looking not unlike my princess of swords here. So what is it that we need to divest ourselves of it's time to do that you probably are already in the process you probably all you absolutely already know what this is this is not going to be new information and it's time to leave your shoes at the door okay number two we got merlin energy healing and so to me um that is so much like this card um where we're talking about the clearing and the the um, removal of this sort of waste energy, this stuff that we no longer need and presenting ourselves to the universe in our pure form. Um, and that is after, um, you know, you're receiving an energy healing based on just existing on this planet right now. The planet is in the process of upgrading its, its own energy system and, and in that you are receiving the upgrades automatically but you can also seek out the help of an energy healer who can help to balance and clear your energy um, obviously that's what I do there are plenty of other people uh, so certainly keep your eyes open if you want to schedule with me please do um, you can contact me in any of the ways that are posted in my um, in my channel or on my website but there are so many people who can help you so go to somebody who resonates with you okay if you decide to do it that way maybe you're an energy healer yourself but at the very least um, the earth is working on helping you upgrade as are your um, your as is your guidance team and the last card I feel like this is probably a message somebody needed to receive it's opal your children on heaven or I'm sorry your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels and so um, I feel like this is a message for anybody who feels like through the process that they're going through is or have been leaving leaving behind children in some way or children are involved maybe there's a divorce involved maybe there's a move involved maybe um, someone has lost their children in a custody battle 
uh, a million things could be happening because this is affecting families um, in the sense that you know some people are needing to move on to their purpose and um, and it does affect families at times because some people may have um, differing um, soul missions and things are changing for them. So I think that this is a confirmation that the children of these, um, such in these situations are cared for and will receive um, protection from uh, obviously um, the higher beings, but also will be cared for and things will be worked out in a fair manner if we're talking about custody or um, child support or anything like that. And of course, some people have certainly lost children, um, children who have passed over, um, you know, potentially I'm hearing pregnancies terminated, pregnancies that did not um, come to full term, um, terrible tragedies that are of a personal manner. And they may have also triggered a um, certain amount of growth and healing in the parents who suffered through this. And so this is just confirmation that those children are safe and cared for on the other side as well. Um, so please know that even though all of these changes, all of this like tower energy here feels like, feels like there are many victims, um, not to discount this in any way or anyone who is going through some, I mean, everyone's going through something. It just depends on what it is, right? Um, but that these things are, are divinely guided and orchestrated and, um, you know, decided before any of us entered this, decided by us before any of us entered these incarnations. Um, and we chose to incarnate at this time on earth because we were so important to um, helping these energies take form and anchor into the earth and into the collective at this time. And so all of it is part of a, um, of a divine plan of sorts, you know, whatever that may be for you. Um, there are important messages and important healings and important learnings that come through difficult situations sometimes. So that may be part of um, part of this last message here for anyone who needed to hear that. Okay. So I love you guys and thank you so much for listening and I will be back to talk to you again soon. Bye.